I think Tunisian President Qais Saeed's visit to Egypt is significant for two reasons. The first is that you have a president of a country in which the Arab Spring succeeded, in which a democratic transition came about, in which there are elections, in which authoritarianism was overthrown, in which people can now choose who their leaders are and can oust the leaders that they don't want. The president of such a country is now visiting the very marshal who overthrew the same process in Egypt and restored authoritarianism and restored the repressive measures that were overthrown uh, in uh, Tunisia. So for Sisi, this is a boon, especially in the context of uh, Turkey as well, trying to seek a rapprochement of its own uh, with uh, Sisi. The second reason has more to do with uh, Qais Saeed specifically. Qais Saeed is somebody who enjoys symbolism in everything that he does. We've seen the way he handwrites a lot of his uh, comments on laws that are being discussed in Parliament. He handwrites uh, his opinions when he is addressing the head of Parliament or the, uh, uh, the head of the government, the Prime Minister. We've seen that Qais Saeed as well is embroiled in this political wrestling match uh, with the Nahva in uh, Tunisia. We've seen the way that he has raged at the government reshuffle that has seen his loyalists ousted from the government. And we've seen the way Qais Saeed has used a constitutional loophole in which he has refused to play the ceremonial role and has rather used uh, the constitutional requirement of him signing off on laws that are passed in Parliament to reject the government reshuffle and reject the establishment of a Supreme Court, which is a bid by the Parliament, a bid by Nahva, a bid by uh, the Prime Minister, to remove the unilateral ability of the President to interpret the Constitution uh, as he wishes. The visit to Egypt reflects Qais Saeed moving more towards this anti-Nahda orbit. And there have often been uh, the rumours that the President is planning his own version of a coup, either by suspending the Constitution or the like, and he has significant support from the trade unions, from Atayara Demokrati, from Harakat al-Shaab. And the only thing that actually prevents Qais Saeed from doing so is an uncertainty on the part of the President as to what extent the people would actually support him. Qais Saeed is unsure if his support is the three million who voted for him in his landslide victory in the second round or the 500 or 600,000 who voted for him in the first round. Qais Saeed is also unsure that it, whether that if he brings about early elections, whether he would be the prime beneficiary uh, with regards to the outcome, uh, uh, the parliament that would be brought about, or whether it would be Abir Musi, the party of the former regime who appears to be rising in the polls.